Hey, it's a video to follow up on the Land Rover Discovery Sport review that I just did. Uh, make sure you go and watch that because it is an all new vehicle for uh, the marketplace and very different from anything we've seen from Land Rover in the past. But I wanted to give you a little bit of background on uh, going to Iceland, which was a cool, cool place for them to host this. And you think about it, they have a, a, an off-road capable brand. They want to showcase what the brand can do. And uh, that's a pretty rustic and rugged and uh, beautiful place to hold an event, a worldwide event. Now just picture this. They had nine, I think the number was 962 journalists like myself from all around the world flying to Iceland. They've been there since the beginning of November. They had 142 support staff, 90 of these Land Rover Discovery Sports to drive and all kinds of really cool looking support vehicles uh, like Defenders that were all, all uh, kitted out with you name it uh, to get us across the landscape. So what was Iceland like? Well, first of all, there's horses all over the countryside. It's like their national symbol and beautiful uh, rustic areas with these uh, small horses and you can walk right up to them and take, take pictures with them. Uh, the one you see here was trying to nibble on the windshield wipers uh, of the Land Rover Discovery Sport and one tried to take a bite out of it as well. Um, all across the area was geothermal. Iceland is a volcanic area. It's kind of like Hawaii, but <laughs> really far north. Uh, same kind of idea. It's, it's been developed because of uh, volcanoes. Everything's made of uh, lava. There's not a lot of foliage around because it is so far north. And you can go to those geothermal pools. We went to one called the Blue Lagoon, which is utilizing the lava and they've sort of um, dammed it in. And it's uh, hot and has this cool blue hue to it. And there's this mud on the bottom that you can spread on your face and apparently looks younger. Do I look younger? I don't think so. Now, I wanted to show you, I didn't have enough time in the video clip uh, of the review to play this little clip. So here's a little bit more on, on Iceland. So what's Iceland like? It's really hard to describe because it's so vast and open that the camera really has a hard time capturing just how big and fantastic this place is. We're basically on an island here that was developed by volcanoes. It's still a very active volcano area. We went to visit some geysers where there's steam still coming out of the ground, like bubbling, like boiling water and a geyser that shoots off every once in a while. Uh, the, the open spaces are just beautiful. It's a very stark place. If you've ever been to Newfoundland, it's, it's much like that, a kind of a combination of Newfoundland and the highlands of Scotland. Uh, wonderful place to visit, and it really is quite eerie and ominous looking at this time of the year. I'd love to come back in the summertime when the sun never sets. That would be interesting to visit, but this should be on your bucket list of places to come and visit. Iceland, very cool and a fantastic place to showcase this kind of vehicle. Now the one thing about going in the winter time, because the days are so short, it got light around 10, 10.30, and got dark around 3, 3.30. Uh, now for those of you who are into photography, and I am, because I need to take pictures of all the cars that I, I review, so I've gotten quite good at taking photographs, is the magic hour. That's the hour uh, when the sun gets up, and the hour when the sun sets. That's the, that's those are the golden hours where you get those money shots. But the thing about going in January, because the sun barely gets over the horizon, is you have that golden hour all day long. You get those beautiful money shots. So it's eerie. I have uh, two different cameras I took. I have a big DSLR, a Nikon, Nikon D600. I have a little Olympus point and shoot that has these dramatic effects on it. And the, the images that came out of the little Olympus were really quite stark. So it is one of those really cool places to go. And it was a fabulous place to showcase their vehicle. Now, here's the thing. If you go to Iceland, or actually if you're going to Europe, or from Europe to North America, Iceland Air allows you to stop over in Iceland as an open jaw ticket. So you can fly to Iceland, stop for a few days, and then continue your journey either to Europe or vice versa. I think that's a really cool thing to do and something you might want to consider either in the winter or in the summer where it's the opposite. It's light pretty much all day and night. Now, one last thought on the Land Rover Discovery, or actually more on the Discovery than the Discovery Sport. Now one thing you have to ask yourself, that LR4, the big truck-based 
Land Rover is probably going to be replaced with the Discovery. So this is the Discovery Sport, just like they have the Range Rover and then the smaller one is the Range Rover Sport. I think they're going to bring back, they haven't confirmed and I've asked them a thousand times and they're not going to tell me, but I can almost guarantee that they're going to bring back that new version of the LR4, call it the Discovery. This will be Discovery Sport and that's a really good combination. This company is doing a lot of things right. You can't get a Range Rover. You gotta put your name on a list and wait and wait and wait to get one. They have uh, new products that are appealing to a whole new marketplace and they're selling in record numbers in North America and this vehicle is definitely gonna help to solidify the marketplace for Land Rover and bring a whole new set of buyers in that maybe hadn't considered this in the past. So there you go, a little behind the scenes on the trip to Iceland, a really cool place. One of those bucket list places that I probably wouldn't have gone on my own, but it was great that Land Rover took us there. And uh, it should be on your list as well. It's a very unique part of the world. It's eerily stark and beautiful and uh, well worth checking out and a great place to showcase the Land Rover Discovery Sport.